Why did I get bleeped? Because this is a commercial and there's a trademark on Taco. I mean, how could someone own Taco? Come on, man. Everyone should be able to say and celebrate Taco. 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 What are we doing? PBK. Professional ball knower. Adjective. Someone who knows how thou shalt ball properly. Used in a sentence. I heard JJ Reddick say that the Thunder can make a deep playoff run. He's definitely a PBK. Recently, I've been scrolling TikTok a lot. I get a lot of different clips about people giving their NBA takes. Professional reporters, people who are just trying to make it, people who just post for fun, everyone. There's a few guys in the mainstream media who obviously just say stuff because they're paid to, not even stuff that they believe. With the game on the line, one shot, who would you rather have taking it, Iggy or Curry? Of everyone on Golden State, open shot, fate of the universe on the line, or the Martians have the death beam pointed at Earth, you better hit it. I want Iguodala. Iguodala's got ice water in his veins. Iguodala is that type of player. High leverage moment, fate of the universe on the line. I want open shot, not go get it. I want Iguodala taking that shot for me. So you're not the shooter Steph is, but I'm saying when it matters most, you're the dude I think doesn't care about that moment. Same guy, like ice water in his veins. Your response? He crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Iggy doesn't even believe he should be taking that shot. But besides that, there's also the people who do know what they're talking about. One guy who definitely knows what he's saying is Bill Simmons. And Bill Simmons has a really good list he updates frequently of the best players in the NBA. Usually, I'm just checking it to see where my goats ranked. 82nd. Nice. But like I said, Bill Simmons is one of the guys who knows what they're talking about. And if you look at these three categories, professional reporters, people who are trying to make it, and people who just post for fun, actually, let's change reporters to reporters who know what they're saying. And how do I know they know what they're saying? Well, I rep PBK. So looking at the three groups, reporters who know what they're saying, obviously, they know what they're saying. But the other two, people who are just trying to make it, and people who just post for fun, I'd like to think if you're posting basketball, you have some kind of passion for it, and I'm sure you watch a good amount. So as much as I'd like the Bill Simmons rank, and the fact that he updates it often, that's just one guy's list. So what I did, I scoured the internet. I'm not even kidding, this took way longer than it should have, but the reason it took so long is because I filtered it so it had to be made within the last month, but I found 50 different NBA player rankings list. I didn't want outdated lists where Pascal Siakam is still part of the Raptors, but as long as it took, eventually, I found enough. So I found 50 lists, I took the top 20 from each, and then I averaged out every player's ranking to find out who really is the best player in the NBA. So right here I have the averages of all 50 lists, the top 20 players in the NBA according to basketball fans of all levels. Someone you hear from on a day-to-day -day basis, someone you might have seen on your For You page a handful of times, or someone you never even heard of. All these people, probably PBK. They gotta get through me first though. But here it is, all 50 lists average out. And the guy who just made the cut, their 20th the best player in the NBA, Jalen Brown. Brown's average placement on these lists was 18 and a half, so that's the mark you have to beat out to make this list. I get it, he's the second best player on the best team in the NBA, averaging 23 points per game off 50% from the field, and he's been on a heater recently. The other day, he went way deep in his bag. We ain't done with the 90s anymore, we done with the 2020s now. Now, but for real, Jalen Brown has been pretty easily a top five second option in the NBA for a couple of years now, actually. I think Jalen Brown's a dog, and I was happy a lot of people ranked him in their top 20. People like to hate on him because the whole left hand thing, but he proved them all wrong when he had the best dunk in dunk contest history. Oh, lefty dunk. Okay, I see. He has a left hand, ladies and gentlemen. This dunk made me never want to hear the words dunk or contest ever again in my life. All right with the 19th best player. That'd be Jimmy Butler. Butler had an average placement at 18.3. I think that's a perfect spot. Cause although his numbers are down this year, he's averaging 21 points per game on exactly 50% from the field. Jimmy every other bucket. Well yeah, his numbers are down a little bit, but realistically, he's gonna turn to Michael Jordan in the playoffs like he does every other season, taking from his pops. Over the top to Butler. Butler does this every year. Looks washed in the first three months, then turns into the greatest player we've ever seen once April May rolls around. My only question about Butler though, why do we get playoff Jimmy Butler 
but in the regular season, he's a borderline all-star. How do you go from borderline all-star to top 10 player in a month span? Every season. It's not like some of the insanity run. It's an annual thing at this point. It's like when I have homework due at 10 p.m. on a Friday night. Monday through 9 p.m. on Friday, I'm regular season Jimmy Butler. I'm chilling. 9 p.m. hits on Friday, I'm bubble Jimmy Butler. 40-point triple doubles. I don't know. He makes no sense. Anyway, number 19, Coffee Man. And last time we were talking about your shop, right? Your coffee shop. And you said that you guys didn't have any coupons and that I have to pay $20 and my dad has to pay $50. All right, so I'm getting a little bag now so I can afford it. But for those who can't afford it, did you guys figure out the coupon dilemma? Yes, we did. Um, there's still no coupons. And now, uh, how old are you? I'm 12. 12. If you're a 12, you will now play um, $75. And um, if you're an adult, you will now pay $150, all because you're complaining to me about coupons. So actually, and for you especially, you don't have to pay $75. You got to pay $95. What? What did I do? You're lucky I didn't charge you $100. If you keep complaining, it's going to be $125. So you want, the, you want the $75 route or $125 route? I'll, I'll go with the 75 You know what, actually? I'm going to play smart with this. Okay. I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to spend my $5 there. $5 Sorry, man. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Number 18. With an average placement of 17.3, the list guys decided to put Damian Lillard here. At this very moment, Dame's averaging 24.4 points per game and 7 assists. This is actually a bad year for Dame too, but the Bucks have been kind of rolling recently, so I guess everyone's giving Dame their respect. Fair enough. I mean, there's an obvious reason why Dame started off this season really slow. My guy was in the studio. He dropped an EP three months ago. And now the Bucks are back and so is he. I'm recording this right now and the Bucks just beat up on the Suns. The Bucks dynamic duo went off. 31 apiece. Damian Lillard and Bobby Portis. Nah, but you know Dame's back when he's doing this. Lillard with two. Logo three on the way at the buzzer. Dame Dalla. Really, there's nothing else to say. You already know he's going to step up in the playoffs. I mean, remember this dude in the bubble? He was pulling from Yucatan and hitting those. Man, look at me. He shot that bitch from Yucatan. I said, I said, Yucatan? I said, what did you just say? He's like, Yucatan. I said, is that a real place? He's like, nah, that's how far that bitch was. Actually, speaking of the mayor of Yucatan, Anthony Edwards was ranked 17th best player in the NBA. He had an average ranking of 15.7, and Edwards has just been an absolute monster this season. There's really no denying it. He's averaging 27, 5, and 5. He's the best player on the third seed in a tough Western Conference. The Western Conference is like a NASCAR race this year. Actually, it's like the ending of that one Lightning McQueen race. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But Edwards has really been a monster this year. He literally turned into Captain Marvel on this play. Actually, he turned into Captain Marvel on both these plays. First half, another turnover for Utah. Edwards gets it back. Edwards has highlights all around the court this year, offensively and defensively. The other day, Carmelo Anthony said that the two guys that have the chance to be the next face of the NBA, Anthony Edwards and Jason Tatum. Hold up. I know that ain't who I think it is. There's no way. What is this graphic? DeAndre Ayton, Austin Reeves. That gives me flashbacks to this graphic. Hyping up the finals with Kyle Korver and Tristan Thompson. Shout out them though. 2015 Korver was him. But Edwards has been great recently. He just passed Kevin Love for the most 30-point games in a Wolves season. There's really no denying what Anthony Edwards does when he's on the floor. Yo, editor. Play that one Anthony Edwards edit. Coming in at number 16, the Sacramento Kings is DeMontis Sabonis. He had an average ranking of 15 on the dot, which is kind of funny because that puts him at 16, but it is what it is. Sabonis has been so good this year. 20 points, 14 rebounds, 8 assists. He leads the NBA in rebounds per game. He leads the NBA in double doubles and triple doubles. I saw a crazy tweet. It said, is there a player with a larger disconnect between his stats and general perceptions than Sabonis? Leads the NBA in triple doubles. Second to Jokic in touches per game at 91.7, but 55th overall in time of possession. So he leads the NBA in triple doubles, but 55th in time of possession? How is that possible? And Sabonis now making the All-Star team was the biggest robbery since the Diamond Casino heist in GTA 5. Shut your goddamn mouth, Lester. Whoa, you 
I think as a bonus was the right pick to put in the top 20. The Aaron Fox actually ended up being 21st. He was the first guy to miss the list. So sorry to spoil and sorry to Kings fans. But yeah, Demontis Sabonis, son of Arvidas, teammate at Keon Ellis, ranked 16th. But coming in at 15th, actually just played Sabonis the other night, Jalen Brunson. Brunson has an average ranking of 14.3. Brunson has just been insanely good at the sport of basketball if you haven't realized by now. He looks like he's 4'3 out there on the court compared to other point guards but he goes out there and busts their ass every night. He's averaging 27.5 points on 48-40 splits and 6.5 assists too. The guy goes off every night. He has 121 points in the last three games combined. 15 almost feels too low for him the way he's playing this season. The Broughton burner is on fire. Literally, the Broughton burner is on fire. Someone put that out. Why are they cheering like something crazy happened? It's your average crazy Russian hacker video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Malabar Toy, where safety is number one priority. Shout out to a legend. But Brunson, another legend. The dude gets better by the game somehow. And we know he only ever turns it up in the playoffs. Carried the Mavs that one year, Luka got hurt. Carried the Knicks last year as well. He's a three level scorer, he finds the open man. There isn't more people I trust with the ball in their hands than Jalen Brunson if I'm being honest. I gotta show this play from the Knicks Kings game though. Final possession, Keon Ellis on Brunson. Brunson used some Professor X powers and had Keon Ellis fall asleep. Just watch this. Now we're looking at number 14. Actually, his average ended up being exactly 14 too. And that's Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton started off the season looking like, I don't even know. John Stockton mixed with Darren Williams when he catches on fire, but he's cooled down a little since then. He's still averaging 20.5 points and 11.2 assists. Of course, leads the league in assists. It seems like since the injury, he's not the same player he was, and the media has been cooking him. They're trying to run a diamond test around this dude. Tyrese Halliburton's superstar free trial is up. 12,000 likes on this tweet. I'm not sure why that happened, but either way, Tyrese Halliburton's a top 3 player in the NBA at setting up his teammates. I would have said the best, but there's this big dude who plays out in Denver. You know who he is. But Halliburton, he led the Pacers to the in-season tournament championship earlier this season. He was on fire for a good portion of the season. And his jumper still falls even though it looks like he's shooting with two broken wrists. I'll make shots you blow the whistle. No, just do your job. What's my job? Let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> the way he shoots looks like he's about to put a cover on the top to let some water boil. But Halliburton's been great. There isn't much else I could say. He proved why he's one of the NBA's elite this year, and even though he's in a little slump right now, I'm sure it won't be too long till he gets out of it. But coming in at the 13th best player in the NBA, the third straight Eastern Conference guard, Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell has an average placement at 13.2. He's averaging 27.4 points per game, 6 assists, 5 rebounds. Mitchell's just been playing great basketball all around this season. Also, the Cavs went on like a 700 game winning streak last month. The only thing about Mitchell is he was hurt a lot of this season. He's now ineligible for the postseason awards because he didn't hit that 65 game mark. Wait, I just realized this at this very moment. I was looking up Donovan Mitchell. This man had 11 assists in his 70 point game. How? That's like 93 points responsible for, assuming they were twos, which definitely some were threes. See, me personally, I'm not swinging the rock. I'm getting 90. Actually, well, I'm dropping 101. Sorry to break it to you. But for real, I actually found Will Chamberlain's 100 point game footage. Let me play it for you. Psych! <laughs> Who do you think I am? Got some top secret FBI footage or something? But actually, speaking of the FBI footage, number 12 is Devin Booker. That transition made no sense. I just need something to move on. Anyways, Booker. He finished with an average placement of 12.4. Booker's averaging 27 and 7 assists on 49% from the field. He's just been hooping, really. That's the only word. Plus, he always has these 20 point first quarters that you think is going to be the game he goes for 70, but then he ends up with like 30. It's clockwork. I got a hot take though. Besides like KD 4s, some of the OG LeBrons like 9s, 10s, the book ones might be the hardest basketball shoe out right now. Yo, Booker, send a guy a pair. Thanks. But on a different note, what's going on with the Suns right now? fell to the 8th seed in the West, Durant, LeBron, and Curry all in the play-in, we're really entering a new time frame for basketball. But Devin Booker, watching him this year, I don't think this guy can miss a mid-range shot. 
It reminds me of Sean Livingston. Fun fact, Sean Livingston went 1309 for 1309 for mid-range in his career. Never missed one. Mid-range goat. But anyway, number 12, Devin Booker, the guy who can make shots without looking at the basket. Number 11 ended up being Steph Curry, which seems kind of disrespectful in my opinion, but this video isn't my opinion, so be it I guess. But Curry, he had an average placement at 12.3, 0.1 ahead of Booker. And even though he's pushing 60, he's still averaging 27-5 on 45-40 splits. Except they build an awful squad around him in Golden State, one of these. Clay hasn't been Clay this year, Wiggins, I don't know what happened to him. I thought he was Iggy's prodigy in those finals. Draymond, he just does what he wants. There's a basketball league in Russia where you could suplex your opponents. Draymond's asking, how much do they pay? Real quick though, you gotta watch the suplex league. How's that a legitimate basketball league? Actually though, this Draymond account is hilarious. Best $6 I ever spent at King James. Num num num. Might go well with the tacos on Tuesday. Five game suspension. Huh? Okay, ready to lock in. I guess I'm not watching Braun highlights this month. Hashtag, no not November. That one's wild. Alright, this turned into Draymond talk. Back to Steph Curry. It's crazy he's still doing what he's doing at 36. I'd say he's pretty easily a top 3 or 4 point guard in the NBA, even though he did get assigned to the G League the other day. But every night, he makes a stronger case for being the greatest point guard ever, even though I don't think he is. There's a lot of people who do. And he's undoubtedly the greatest shooter in NBA history. Remember that time Curry had 105 threes in a row in 7 seconds? Now we're in the top 10. This one also feels a little off, but number 10 is LeBron James. LeBron had an average placement of 11.7. Somehow, LeBron still averages 25-78 on 53% from the field. The Lakers have been garbage, but LeBron's still been elite. And now, LeBron and JJ Redick are starting a podcast means we're going to get more clips like this. We got 16 tracks, right? The 16 tracks, we want to do 14. But is there a problem with a week or two weeks after the album dropped with the 14 tracks that we add the deluxe album and uh, add the two songs do. back I home? think that's hard. I think it'll be a conversation of, oh, shit, this man has some more, but he couldn't fit it into the album. Mm. Thank y'all for taking on this ride with me. Yeah. You know what? Hang on two more for y'all. Yeah. LeBron really thought he was a genius thinking of deluxe albums. That'll always be funny. Did you guys know LeBron's the executive producer or rapper go to the league though? That's where this meme comes from. I didn't even know that. That album's fire. Mama, I hit a lick. I said me. Good job, LeBron. You got another career after Hoops is over for sure. Also, there's a bar from one of these songs that's insane. Stayed in the streets like it's broomboard. board. They knew me for it. That's besides the point like a shooting guard. I'm moving forward. Besides the point like a shooting guard, got CJ McCollum next to Dame. I'm moving forward. Who was the forward there? Mo Arkless? I don't know. That's besides the point. Like a shooting guard. Anyway, it seems like LeBron is never going to stop playing basketball. He's 39 now and still a top 10 player in the NBA. When is this guy going to slow down? Number 10, LeBron James. You mean on rank tonight? Huh? I'm hitting Diamond 1 on rank tonight on Siege. What that mean? Mess with me. What that mean? If you know, you know. What that mean? At number 9, it actually ended up being LeBron's teammate, Anthony Davis. AD had an average rank of 10.5 compared to LeBron's 11.7. I think you could go either way with LeBron and AD, but I do understand why AD finished higher. He's a top 5 defender in the NBA. And then on top of that, he's still averaging 24.5 points and 12.3 rebounds. When Anthony Davis is healthy, he's one of the best big men in the NBA. And that's exactly what he's been this season. Healthy. Well, in real life at least. How are you going to play as yourself and get injured? But in actual real life, when Anthony Davis is healthy, he's the type of guy that wins you games on both sides of the ball. Even though he's 0-10 against the bonus in his career, Anthony Davis versus European centers. Shout out to Big Perk. One of the most elite highlights of all time. Sit back, relax, and watch this for 50 seconds.
in the history of basketball. Perk's a legend though, a starter on a championship team, something 99.99% of NBA players can't say. But after that, at number 8, this is where it got weird. It's Joel Embiid. Embiid had an average placement of 10. That's because if they had him on the list, he was either 1, 2, or 3. But then some people didn't have him on the list, which brought his average down. Which I think is fair, because if you aren't healthy, it's of course going to affect your rating. And this is only the last month of basketball. But when Embiid is healthy, he's undoubtedly one of the best players on the planet. He's averaging 35 and 12. He's probably going to go back to back for MVP. But since he's been out, the Sixers have completely fallen off. But when Embiid played, he had 30 or more points in 28 or 34 games. It just sucks that he got hurt. That's all you could really say. And then he got hurt, and now he's not eligible for the postseason awards. It's just unfortunate. At least he's practicing on some courts at Philly, though. <laughs> Number 7, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi had an average placement of 9.7. He's been too elite this season. I'm glad everyone recognizes still how good this guy really is. 24 points per game on 54 42 splits. Also, the Clippers look scary. Not a team I'd want to play in a 7 game series. They just shoot at an elite clip. I don't know how you could ever count Kawhi out. Every time he's on the floor, the Clippers are just a better team. Look at this. Kawhi left the game and the Wolves outscored the Clippers 80-56. If the Clippers rely heavily on him, Kawhi's like the Iron Man of the Clippers, he'd be letting everyone use his facilities. Even though he falls to his knees when his teammates take the game winners and not him. Out, rebound Westbrook, Westbrook, short, 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 and the Coming in at number 6, Kevin Durant. Durant had an average placement of 9.2, that's how congested this part of the list was. 9.2 puts you in 6th place. That's a fair spot for KD though, he still averages 28-7-5, he shoots 53-42 splits, he's one of the best offensive weapons in NBA history, and still, he's one of the best offensive weapons in the NBA and is in year 40. Let's get one thing straight though, Kevin Durant is not a role model, and even though Durant's been on fire this season, his haters still prey on him to have bad games, and every time he has a bad game, this video is everywhere on the internet. Durant for three. It's good. Kevin Durant from downtown. Man, who is that? But it's still crazy to see that Durant gets better by the season. He won MVP 10 years ago now, and he still averages 28 on borderline 50, 40, 90. In the NBA right now, there's two players averaging seven points per game, five rebounds, one block, and shoot 40% from deep. Guess who? It's a league company. Kevin Durant and B-Ball Paul Reed. ESPN type stat. The Suns aren't as good as we hoped they'd be this season, but Kevin Durant's even better than some people thought he'd be. Every time they think he's going to decline, he just comes back next season and continues to ball out every night. Alright, now we're in the top 5. According to NBA fans of all levels, the top 5 players in basketball right now, number 5, Jason Tatum. An average placement of 7.6. Although this might be a little high, Tatum's having a really good season right now. He's averaging 27 and 8. He's the best player on the best team in the NBA, and although everyone calls him a super team merchant, Tatum's 12th option, 30 points in the third quarter, the Celtics are stacked no doubt. But one thing I really do respect about Jason Tatum, you'd never see him sit out of games. He's always going to play. He's played in over 94% of career games so far, but although he's been great this season, he probably still does hold the worst shot attempt of the season. Tough catch, spins for the tie, short. Was there really a question who the top four were going to be? The fourth best player in the NBA, Shea Gilgis Alexander. SGA finished with an average placement of 4.2. Makes sense, he's averaging 31, 6, and 6. The guy's been unstoppable. He's actually number one on some MVP trackers. I don't know if he's MVP, but some people think he is. You see it. But personally, I think SGA is one of the most skilled guards we've seen in the past decade. He's unstoppable when he gets in the post, and although some people do think he shoots too much free throws, meet Falbay Man. Give me freedom, give me fire, let me shoot free throws or I retire. I can't believe I'm laughing at something so stupid like this. Scored 30 points on efficient shooting with free throws? Nope. Foul bait and shoot 20 free throws? Yes. Even if it isn't true, it's still funny. And even if you think he foul baits, he's still undoubtedly one of the most skilled players in the NBA. But the free throw thing is funny, I can't lie. Now the third best player in the league, Luka Doncic. Luka finished with an average of 3.3. He's pretty obviously the best point guard in the NBA at this point. 
He averages 34, 9, and 10. Except you guys know how I feel about the Mavericks. I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to show it. Grow. And here at the closing, it's uh, completely normal. So, yes, you can use 13 gal. Can they please get this guy some help? They have a generational talent, and they just continue to put this completely mediocre roster around them every season. But honestly, I'm sitting here talking about the Mavs roster being trashed, like Kyrie didn't hit one of the most ridiculous game winners of all time the other day. Luka and Kyrie are two Bugattis. But the top two, the second best player in the National Basketball Association, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think I agree with this. Giannis averages 31, 11, and 6 on 61% from the field. But on top of that, he's a top 10 defender in the NBA. There's really no denying what Giannis does, no matter how much you may dislike him. I saw some. It said defined cold. In sports terms, they meant, someone said, when Skip Bayless tweeted, the best player in the East is now Joel Embiid. Then Giannis quoted as saying, that's all the motivation I need for this summer. Thank you, Skip. And then went on to win back-to-back -back MVPs. As much as the Giannis haters always come out, it's hard to say Giannis isn't one of the best basketball players on the planet. Anyway, here's Frank the Tank trying to pronounce Giannis' name. Well, uh, one player who's having a monster start so far is the Greek freak, Gianni Antetokounmpo. Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Bucks, the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Gianni Antetokounmpo for the Bucks, Gianni. And Tepetenko of the Bucks. The best player in the NBA wasn't really ever even a question, Nikola Jokic, an average placement of 1.8. Jokic is averaging 26, 12, and 9. He's once again one of the top seeds in the West. The Nuggets are rolling, and so is Jokic. Except that Kyrie game winner on him, Nikola Jokic was plus 10 in one of his worst games of the year. Still incredible how dominant the Nuggets are when he plays. Nikola Jokic using plus minus to block Kyrie's lefty hook shot. That shot was just absurd. I know I mention it, but it's just crazy. Anyway, Nikola Jokic, the best basketball player on the planet. I don't really think there's any argument here. But if you made it this far, not subscribing would be wild. Did the people of this list right or wrong? You guys let me know. I'll see you soon. New video ASAP.